Hey guys, welcome back to another Next Level Lawn Care video. Well, it's the end of June and we're coming up on my favorite holiday of the year for sure, which is July 4th. And uh, we gotta get the yard ready. We're gonna have, you know, maybe you're having friends come over, doing a barbecue, whatever it is. This is kind of my favorite time of the year to, to flex on everybody and show them what ama an amazing yard that we can have. So, we're gonna be throwing down a lot of stuff. Um, backyard's still struggling a little bit. It's coming along, it's bouncing back. That hydrotain has helped tremendously. Uh, well, that's all for another video. But, <clears throat> we have a ton of bugs in the yard. Um, from mosquitoes to gnats and all those annoying bugs that come around every year, they're here. And I think that's probably the number one thing that people overlook when they're planning for a some sort of event, uh, an outdoor, you know, it's a birthday, it's a barbecue, it's, you know, whatever it is, 4th of July. People always forget about the bugs that are in the yard. And you're standing out here and you're smacking yourself and it's just not fun. And you don't want to be that person that forgets and has the party and uh, all your guests are getting eaten up. So here's what we're doing today. We're killing bugs and I'm going to show you a very easy um, to use product that you can pick up at the store, Home Depot or Lowe's, wherever, uh, Walmart probably even sells it. Aside from taking care of the bugs, we want to get the lawn to green up a little bit. If you remember from my soil test, I was low on iron throughout the yard to begin with. So we need to get some of that down. And I'm also already at my 41 day post germination point. So we need to get our uh, fertilizer down for that, our RGS. And I'm just feeling like doing an epic throwdown. Um, so we're gonna put it all out. We're putting out green pot, I think. Maybe it's green punch. Whichever one is the 1802 or whatever it is. Um, so we're putting that down. We're putting it down RGS. We're putting down an insecticide to kill the bugs. We're putting down humic acid. Oh, fungus control. So for me, getting into the summer months of the year, I'm gonna run into a problem where I have this new grass and I'm watering a ton and it's gonna be hot and I don't wanna get any fungus in the yard. Um, I've already seen some mushrooms popping up here and there. Those are your first clue if you see mushrooms popping up that you've got water sitting on your yard when it's hot. And uh, I've already got those showing up and I don't want them. So we're gonna do uh, some propiconazole just a quick basic fun fungus treatment and we're gonna do all of this through the very easy to use ortho dial and spray. So let's get it all done. So this is a product, this ortho bug be gone and the bug be gone is kind of a trademark name. You'll find this in different colored bottles. Um, some of them all have the same active ingredients. I've found a couple that don't. Um, so what I'm going to recommend is this ortho bug be gone um, it does kill on contact as well as provides about six months of control. Um, <clears throat> now, this can be reapplied every four to six weeks. So if you're planning, you know, a barbecue, I would recommend you put this down about three or four days before that. You only need to allow it time to dry to the leaf blade uh, before you can allow your pets or kids back on it. Um, but this is the one that I recommend and it has the two active ingredients in it. It's going to have bifenthrin and it's going to have zeta cypermethrin in it. Um, some of them only have the bifenthrin, but I like the one with the two active ingredients in it. I've found a better results in it. What I like to do with this is I'll just dump this whole bottle into my orthodialin spray. I'll set it to 1.5 ounces, which is what's recommended on here. And then I just make a nice, steady, smooth pass across the yard. Um, you can also spray trees and shrubs and ornamentals and such with this or hard surfaces. So you could spray the foundation of your house even with this if you wanted to. And then after I'm done spraying everything I need to spray, my trees, my shrubs, everything, 
I just dump whatever's in this bottle back, or whatever's in the dial in spray back into this bottle, and that's ready to use for next time. That way you don't have to fuss with the math. Um, the only thing I would suggest with this is if you have any sort of pollinating plants that you don't spray those because it will kill the bees and we love our bees. I've used this on three different lawns so far this year. My parents, um, my girlfriends, and then also mine and it did a great job in eliminating those pesky mosquitoes so you're not out there slapping yourself in the face all day. Hey. If you're enjoy finding this information helpful or you're enjoying this video, please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. I, I would just really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So that takes care of that. Now, if you want to kind of get to the next level a little bit, um, if you want to push a little bit deeper, darker green color to your lawn, I'm going to recommend another product that I've used a couple times with decent success, and that's going to be the Pennington Ironite. Now this is a 20% iron product. It is a 101, but I like to add just a little bit more nitrogen with this. Um, so I'll do like a low rate of any other fertilizer that you, you have, maybe like a half rate of that. Um, when I put this down as well, and I've seen better results with that. So with this, although it is a 20% um, iron product, it is slow release. So this is gonna give you green for about a month, month and a half. I like to get this on the grass about 10 days, seven to 10 days before whatever, you know, date I'm trying to hit where I want things to look really good. Um, <clears throat> As part of that, because it's being, it is slow release, you're going to want to get water on it four or five times to allow the product to be absorbed by the plant um, and to release some of that iron and make it available for the plant to use. That's why I recommend you put it down about 10 days before your target date. So those are really the only uh, big things I would recommend is a low rate on regular fertilizer especially if it's you know summertime when it's hot out, you don't wanna push a ton of growth, but you do want some nitrogen to help aid the iron. Um, and then the one that everybody always forgets or doesn't seem to do or think about until you're sitting out there and you're slapping yourself in the face all day is the ortho bug be gone. That's gonna make your, your whole barbecue birthday party, 4th of July celebration, whatever it is that you're having, just that much more enjoyable. Further from that, we're also at my 42 day post germination point at the time of making this video. So I needed to get my 1801 green punch and my RGS down as well. So with having to put those down and these, I figured let's throw some humic acid in there as well, which I understand there's humic acid in RGS, but I just wanted to put some down. I really feel like humic acid and RGS are the workhorse behind any other product you could put on the lawn. Um, whether you're trying to push, you know, a greener color or growth or whatever it is, a healthier turf grass, RGS and humic acid are just the workhorse behind that in my experience. So I figured I was throwing all this stuff down. Let's throw a little extra humic on there as well. Well there guys. There it is, nice decent green up on the lawn. That uh, ironite, it's just starting to kick in. It's, what has it been? Six days, I think it's been six days since I put that down. Um, we got one good rainstorm a couple days ago and then I watered a couple times. It's moving in, It's I can tell the difference. It's, it's greening up decently. So hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, you know, if you found this helpful hit that like and subscribe button otherwise if you're interested I'll link whatever products I can find uh, down in the description below if you want to pick them up for yourself as always get outside get your lawn to the next level we'll catch you on the next one